Well, dog, the bounty hunter sitting down, giving his thoughts about the end times, what he sees on the horizon. We're going to get into all the details of what Mr. Dwayne Chapman had to say. Before I go any further, I got to give some special shout outs here. First to Hal, who recently became a $10 patron of the channel. Thank you so much, Hal, for the support. And also David, who became a $5 patron. Thank you as well, David. I appreciate all the support. And guys, if you would like to help support my ministry, you could do so as well. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you will not be notified of all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys like me. So when you get done watching me here, browse back, check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, Dwayne the Bounty Hunter, Dwayne Dog Chapman, whatever you want to call him, I love this guy. I think he's great. He absolutely is great. He's actually starring in a brand new Christian movie called Hunter's Creed that I hear is supposed to be just excellent. But he sat down here for an interview and discuss the end time events, what he sees going on right now, what it was like in his generation as a baby boomer, where he sees things now with, you know, millennials, with Gen Z. Well, he believes that right now, currently the youth that we see in this world right now, he believes to be the last generation before the return of Christ. He got into several things, especially talking about the fact that look at all the signs around us, everything that Christ talked about in Matthew chapter 24 with the disciples as far as when would be the sign of your return. Remember the disciples, they wanted to know really an exact date of when Christ was going to come back, but he said that no man knows the day or the hour, not even the angels, not even the son himself would know, but the father only. And then he got into the whole thing about masks, the face mask mandate. He said, back in my time, we would say to ourselves, there's no way the government will ever be able to get us to take the mark of the beast. There's just absolutely no way. But now, he said, look what's happening. They're already making you wear a mask everywhere that you go. You cannot get into businesses. You cannot make purchases without a mask. And that goes hand in hand with the mark. Because the Bible says in Revelation chapter 13, you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have that mark. So it's very similar right now with the masks. It's all part of a conditioning tool. And that's what Dog was saying here. They're conditioning the public right now. They're getting them to buy into the fear. Because then what they're going to do is they're going to convert this over from the masks to the mark. Those of us that, you know, can see this, that are, you know, clear believers, we, we know this is what's happening. Now, you can believe the lies of the media and say that, oh, it's all about protecting your health. And that wearing masks is patriotic. It shows that you care about your neighbor. They'll even try to bring Christ into it and say that this is something that Jesus would approve of. They've even had depictions of the baby Jesus wearing a face mask. Of course, this is what they always do. They try to bring Christ into their argument all the time just to push their political agenda, which is absolutely disgusting when they do that. But ladies and gentlemen, we know the truth, and Dog the Bounty Hunter is exactly right here in his assessment of these face masks that will eventually lead to the mark of the beast. Christ is, in fact, coming back soon. If you don't have your life right with him, I encourage you to do so today. Call in the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. His will is that none should perish, but that all would come to repentance. If you can do that, you can have eternal life in heaven. I encourage you today. I'll put some more information on this in the description, including a link if you would like to watch the full interview with Dog the Bounty Hunter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more you guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.